Hi all. Let's talk about sub report in SSRS. It is one of the important report in a SSRS. So it displays another report inside the body of the main report. It means that it occupies a separate section in the main report. It means that to work with a sub report, you need a two reports. One is the main report. The other one is the sub report. It occupies a special space in the main report. So let me show you practically how to display how to work with a sub report. So before going to work with a sub report. So let me show you the data which are available in the system. So I have an employee table. So which are of having around uh, around 1000 records with a column of ID employee first name last name salary designation and ID department. If you go here. So I have a department table which contains three columns ID department department name and department location. So based on this two table I am going to design and I am going to show you the sub report example. So let me show you let me go to the SQL server data tools. So there I have a two empty reports sub report and the main report. So first let me design a sub report here. So to work with a any of the report I need first data source. Let me click on add data source. The name of the data source is data source one. So this example I'm going with the same names. So let me my database name is a class. Click on OK. Click on OK. Now let me go to the data set. So here I'm going to take it. Yeah, before going to the data set, let's create a parameter. So I want to uh, uh, go the sub report as a parameterized report. So that I will pass the main, uh, parameter from main report to sub report. So that will take as an input and it will generate the report here. So I'm going to keep it as a department name as a name. So I'm going to put a prompt message as please select department or please provide the department. Department name. Let me click on OK. So now let me create a data set for this. Add data set. So here, go here. Let's write the text. So here I am writing select ID employee, first name, last name, salary, designation from employee table, join department on e dot id department equal to d dot id department where department name equal to at the rate department name. This is my parameter name. Let me click on OK. So now I created a data set. Now let me design a very basic uh, report table table report. I'm going to keep it as a here as a first name. Last name. Salary. Let me add one more column. So I'm not concentrating more on the uh, report uh, formatting and all. I'm just going with a very basic uh, report stuff. OK, so this is my sub report. I'm going to decrease the size of this window as well so that so looks little better when I go in the main report. OK, yeah, so this is my report. Let me see how it is working. Yeah, let's click on the preview. So there you can see the uh, report uh, functionality perspective. Yeah, it, is, it is hitting the database um, to give it. So I gave like this. So let me make it as F F F four F. So I have one department. I do I have any employees with that? I don't have anything. Let me take one technical here. Yeah, let me type here technical. Let me click on view report. Yeah, I have a my report is working now. Okay, sub report. So now let me go to the main report. Yeah, similarly, you have to do the same stuff. Data source. Here I am. I, I don't have a shared data source. That is the reason why I am going with a embedded data source. If I have a shared data source, I can go with it. Okay, click on OK. OK, now let's go to the data set. So I might need to use a similar kind of data set only. OK, but there is a small change here. So I, I have a query, but there is a change here. So I need to put the department name as well. Otherwise, I, 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 I can go with the only this. Let me let me do this. Okay. Yeah, you can go here. So I am going very simply here. I don't need a department location as well. If you see, okay, click on refresh page. Click on. Okay. 
and now let me go to the design section go to table where here i am taking as a id department here i am taking as a department name now where can i put that sub report okay now in this section i am planning to put as a sub report here let me make it as bigger one this one so that my report will fit here okay this one now here i need to add a report item as a sub report how to add right click here click on insert what are all the stuffs i can insert you can see here you can insert text box line rectangle and all okay now let me go to the sub report so here i inserted my sub report so let's right click on this now go to sub report properties and one of the condition here is that sub report also should be in the same project i cannot call the report which is there in the outside of the project now here i need to select the report name my report name is sub report and do you have a parameters yes so even my sub report uh, can be a with parameter without parameters but to show you a complex example so i have created sub report as a parameterized report so that is the reason why i am in the parameter section now click on add so here name of the parameter is department name and what value do you want to pass i want to pass department name from the main report let's click on okay now so here i can i can write some hard coded values so employee details or employees okay now let me go to the preview section if you understand very clearly here so here i will be getting the technical wise so department id is one technical department name here i will be getting all the technical department related details here in the support department here i will be getting all the support related employee details here like this so if i add any style here let me add some bold here for my stuff so that it will be very easy for me to understand okay now let me come here let me go to the preview here yeah so here if you see these are all are bold so whatever the style you apply in the sub report it automatically come and uh, observes you can observe in the main report so this is how my sub report works if you come here so there is a department all f f f f there is no employees that's the reason why i don't see any employees here so so this is how my sub report is going to work so that's it please uh, keep watching our videos and subscribe and please share your feedback thank you